Hey everybody, this is Northern Voyager. Today I'm going to be going over my 2016 Boundary Waters canoe route. Um, here's a quick rundown of what we're going to be doing. I'm going with my dad, my uncle, and then my cousin. So there's going to be four of us. And um, First of all, this is the biggest group I've gone with. Um, my first trip three years ago is with my brother and my dad. Last year was just with my dad and then this year it's with my uncle, my cousin, and my dad. So there's four of us. Um, so we're going to be renting two tandem canoes from Pragus Northwoods Company up in Ely. Now on this route we will paddle through three rivers, two creeks, 16 lakes, one bay, and uh, one pond and I did some calculations here and the sum of the portages is about 4.006 miles. Um, I kind of made a little note of that a while ago to build strength and endurance um, for my cousin and my uncle because I don't know how experienced they were but they seem to be in uh, good shape. And the sum of the total travel miles including um, paddling and portaging that is going to round out to about 40 to 45 miles. And the total time we have to complete that is six days, and we are staying five nights. Um, so on July, I believe the 16th, we are putting in at, where is it? Entry point 14. Um, and at the Little Indian Sioux River, and as you can see, there's about a 40 rod porch to get into the um, marshy river. You can see all the marshland. That's where all the blue dots are. That Those are all cattails, lily pads, all great spots for moose sightings. So we're going to be paddling up the Little Indian Sioux River, um, heading north, go through a little 60-rod porridge over some rapids, keep going straight up into Upper Pawnus Lake, and we can either choose to cut across here the 40-rod portage, or take a little detour and go down this way, but um, for our sake of time, we're probably just going to cut across. Um, and we're going to portage the 160 rods, keep going up the Little Indian Sioux River, um, past the largest lake we're going to go through on this trip. This is Loon Lake, and it is motorized. So we're just going to hug the shoreline here. Hopefully, you don't hit any whitecap waves from any other boats or strong winds. Keep following the shoreline up here and get into Little Loon Lake. And then, so this is about 7 to 10 miles, that stretch from entry point 14 to Little Loon Lake. And then somewhere in this area, we're going to start looking for a campsite for the first night. Um, so we're really going to try to push it the first day and get some mileage in. Um, but after that, we have a 173 rod portage into Slim Lake. And then we go north um, up to South Lake, and you can see there's a 52 rod portage, and there is the pond, the only pond that we're going through. Um, right there, that's the pond. Um, so we're going to come down here, go through the 120 rod portage into Steep Lake, and then 45 rod into Eugene, come south into Eugene Lake again. It's one big lake. Cut across. You, um, with the 30 rod portage into I'm just trying to focus the camera here sorry about that into Little Bear Track Lake and then 30 rods into Bear Track Lake then we have a major portage or portage however you want to pronounce it um, 200 rods into Thumb Lake um, so nearing a mile on that portage that's going to be pretty rough and then we have some small portages in, into uh, Finger Lake it's got some nice campsites from what I've heard. We're going to keep going about northeast, more north though, um, using the 90 rod portage to get into the Finger Creek. Then we're going to head into Pocket Lake, maybe stay the second night there. Um, then head down the Gebi, or the full name is Gebionicut, I believe. Um, it's kind of hard to pronounce, <laughs> so I just call it Gebi. We're going to head down to Gabby Creek into Gabby Lake. It's another pretty good sized lake. Um, I, from what I've heard, there's also good fishing there, so we'll try some fishing there. Then we're going to head south. Um, so we're right there. 
so far we've gone all the way over here so we're probably going to stay night three somewhere around here maybe on Gabby Lake um, but we're going to head south down the 120 rod portage into Green Lake um, and then 85 rod portage into what is that Rocky Lake and then another portage it's not focusing my bad 85 rod portage into Oyster Lake another great fishing spot um, probably stay the fourth night there then go down the Oyster River. Um, let me try to find my finger. Oh, there it is. Um, we're going to head down the Oyster River right there. Maybe stay in our fifth night, Lake Agnes. And then paddle through the Nina Moose River into Nina Moose Lake. And then just follow that all the way out to exit point 16. Um, don't read that, or you can read it, it's just, that's from, um, actually the first trip I've ever been on with my dad and my brother, that's where we put in at 16, but this time we were exiting there. Um, so, <laughs> that was a lot to, uh, mumble on about, but that is the 2016 Boundary Waters Canoe Area, um, canoe route that my dad, cousin, and uncle and I will be going on, um, we actually leave three days from now. It's hard to believe that. Um, so I'm going to try to get this video posted ASAP. Um, and then following this video, there will be another video on what I'm bringing with and what I'm packing. So make sure to check out that because this is going to be a whole series documenting this trip. So it's going to be pretty exciting. So subscribe if you haven't already. And share this video if you enjoyed it and share the series. Um, and... Here's one last look. And remember to stay frosty. Peace.